this episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your Frame Meister to get the best possible picture out of your LaserDisc player. For this particular demonstration, I'm going to be using my Pioneer CLD V2800. This is a fairly low-end player, lacking many features and outputs found on higher-end units such as S-Video and Optical Audio. However, it is fairly small, I have a working remote, and as it was manufactured in 1999, it has proven to be fairly quick and reliable. I'll also be using composite video. The video on a laser disc is actually analog composite video. While it has twice the resolution as the inferior VHS format, it's still composite video. If a laser disc player has S video output, it means the player has circuitry built in to separate the luminance and chrominance information to create an S video signal. The circuitry in your television or video processor will almost always do a better job at this task than a 20 year old laser disc player, so don't let this detract you. You. If you're curious, I use the SMPTE color bar pattern found in a Criterion LaserDisc to dial everything in, so with that, here are the settings that I use. Please note, if you're playing a full screen movie instead of a widescreen movie, change the screen set to standard. While LaserDisc has been dead for over 15 years now, it's still a fun platform to collect for. Despite most releases being fairly uncommon, especially by video game standards, it's absolutely dirt cheap to collect for. LaserDisc certainly lacks the fidelity of DVD, but these settings should give you an excellent picture on the big screen. 